God has just revealed to me the meaning of the full solar eclipse happening on April 8th, 2024. You have to hear me out. If you would like to support this channel in any way, please do so through Buy Me a Coffee. Now, every day at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time through my channel, we have a daily rosary group that we have been praying for almost four years now. It is quite amazing. And just before we were praying, I was asking God and praying to myself just in my heart and my mind, God, what is the meaning of this solar eclipse and how can we interpret it, especially in light of our Catholic faith? So there are a few things that I want to piece together for you to understand this amazing thing. This could not be for me because it is so genius. So first, just hear me out. So you know, and, and if you're new to my channel, many of you know that I talk a lot about purgatory. One of the things that you learn about the souls in purgatory is as you grow in your purification from the bottom levels of purgatory to the top until you, once you get into heaven, your intercessory power before God grows. It is no coincidence that on April 7th, the day before the full solar eclipse that we're going to see here in the United States, it is Divine Mercy Sunday. And one of the promises of Divine Mercy Sunday, and I will put the passage right here of the Diary of Divine Mercy, is that those that have gone to confession and go to Mass on Divine Mercy Sunday and receive communion have a complete pardon of all sin and punishment. You can look up more information about exactly what that means if you've never heard that. What does that mean? Everything standing in between you and God is completely removed. Some people say it's like the grace of a completely new baptism. Like the same grace you receive at baptism, all cleared. So what would that be like? That would be like a soul at the bottom of purgatory brought all the way to the top, full purification. What does that imply? That implies that all Catholics that are participating in Divine Mercy Sunday because of this complete pardon, will have significantly increased intercessory power because we will be that much closer to God. Okay, now let's put that here to the side. The following day, it is no coincidence that thousands, if not millions of people will be converging to that thin and narrow line where the sun will be beginning its partial eclipse to the full eclipse all the way throughout the whole country of the United States. It is no coincidence that it will be beginning at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time and ending at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. Central Standard Time is the one to focus on because the sun will actually be entering through Texas. When you look at that line, it begins in Texas and it kind of goes through the country. What's the significance of 12 p.m. to 3 p.m.? Those are the hours that Jesus was on the cross. That was the hour, the time of mercy, so to speak. There is a scripture that also we need to kind of plug into this that I'm trying to show you where Jesus is telling his, especially his apostles and his inner disciples, this reality of those outside the church and those inside. And he says something like this, that to those on the outside, I speak in figures and to those on the inside, I speak clearly, revealing things. And I will put the scripture right here about what that means. And what does this mean? That to those that are not of the faith, God speaks to them through nature, through symbolic things, through, through the sky and the stars and all these other things. But for those of us that belong to Jesus, he speaks to us clearly through the gospels, no longer in shadows or in metaphors, or in the events in the sky, but but he speaks directly into our hearts. We get this direct message. Unfortunately, people that don't believe in the Catholic faith, they don't get to hear it. So all those people that are converging on that thin line of this, the full solar eclipse, God is going to speak to them through that the most magnificent natural event out there that we could see as human beings. So can you imagine all these people are going there? They're going to see one of the most beautiful natural phenomena that you can possibly see. That's the closest that they can get to God. We who are in the Catholic faith, the prior day will have had all our sins removed so that we will have our intercessory power significantly increased. What does this mean that on April 8th, the following day, how should we use our brand new intercessory power by praying for the conversion of all those people when they go out there and see the solar eclipse that they don't just see a solar eclipse 
that they see the magnificence of God. And it's especially, that day is also going to be the Feast of the Annunciation, which is no coincidence that it normally falls on March 25th because it falls on Holy Week. They moved it to April 8th. What does that mean? Special graces. Whenever something is a feast day, there's this one saint and mystic. What she said was, whenever something is a feast day, it's like the fruit of that particular saint is ripest on that day. So you know how certain fruits, let's say apples are ripest in the fall or in the winter or whenever that happens to be. Well, on that day, the Feast of the Annunciation, April 8th, who has the ripest fruit? The Blessed Mother. So we will be interceding for these people with this brand new closer relationship with God through the intercession of the Blessed Mother for hundreds, if not thousands, if not millions of conversions. This is what God wants us to do. This isn't a, an, a world ending event or anything like that. I know a lot of people are trying to make these connections. No, this is an opportunity for us to convert millions of people. God is laying the groundwork. They will converge upon thousands and thousands of people, people because a full solar eclipse is such a rare event. So we need to take advantage. And from 12 to 3 p.m. on April 8th, we need to be on our knees praying fervently for these people, that their hearts are moved, that they are so filled at awe with this beauty, that they search for God in their lives, because that's that's really what they're searching for. When they're searching for that solar eclipse, what are people really looking for? They're looking for God. And for us that have already found him, we don't need to go see the solar eclipse. Sure, it's a nice thing to see, but we can go to a mass and see something much more magnificent, or to Eucharistic adoration, and the day before, we will have seen something absolutely incredible. Let's take advantage. So my friends, spread this video. April 8th is the full solar eclipse 2024 in the United States. And we are going to turn that into a full conversion day of every single person out there. We will pray and sacrifice for them so that they can experience the risen Jesus.